amazed, amazed, absolutely amazed how, how well we did. Now there was sand and debris from all the other houses all over the property, but the garage doors, none of the structure. The more I looked around, I couldn't believe how well we held up. We really had minimal damage. The, the flood vents let the water in and equalized the pressure, so we didn't, even the garage door wasn't damaged. Um, we lost some, we lost some uh, copper on the roof outside, and we had some, um, obviously we lost the fence where some boats kind of floated through and, and knocked them down. This is, uh, this is 10. The base flood elevation is really at 8, so our, our base flood is about here, but you know, we built, we built to 10. The water came within six inches of the floor, so we were certainly glad they had us raise the, uh, the floor. Uh, they, they had the two-foot requirement as opposed to uh, the plus one that it used to be, because we're, we're in a coastal A. Paul had us put rebar into the footing, so the rods come up. Every four feet, we have them into the, so that when the water comes, it'll hold the pressure of the water. Right Then we have the flood vents that releases the water back out. We kind of built up the grade. I don't know if you can tell, but like the driveway here and everything, we put in a lot of fill here to, to get us higher so that when the water does come, it can recede out a lot easier. So these are the air conditioners. This is a, uh, base elevation eight. So we kept the air conditioner there. That's one thing we, should, we could have done is we could have put the um, we could have put the air conditions up to this height, which is 10 right here. This is masonry, this is wood. There is, I don't know if you can see this, this brown mark right here, but this was the height of the water right here. So this is as high as the water came back here. Uh, the utilities are all, are all raised, so here's the forced air, uh, air handler for the first floor is here. The air handler for the uh, second floor is upstairs on the third floor and drops down. Uh, you can see the mechanicals on the ceiling and the electrical panel on the wall here. Everything's raised above the base flood elevation. And everybody remembers the storm of 92 and, you know, oh, this is how bad the water ever gets and everybody goes back to 92. Uh, and it was really three and a half feet higher than it had ever gotten. You know, that was just, that was like the perfect storm. That hurricane made a direct left right into us. You know, if you're gonna live on a barrier island, um, you know, you, you're gonna have to anticipate these storms coming in. Now, will it ever, will we ever see another storm like that? I don't think so, but who knows?